Welcome to the Netherlands. The Dutch love to travel, whether it's by bike, train, or car. But with 17 million people in only 40,000 square kilometers, the Netherlands is one of the top 10 most densely populated countries in the world. The result is huge pressure on mobility. But the Dutch are dynamic and inventive. With a history of taking the first step in world-changing developments, they're always ready to set a great example to the rest of the world. And now, they are the frontrunner in smart mobility. We are very active in the field of connected and automated driving because we believe that it can help us solving the challenges that we are facing today. Help to improve traffic safety, reduce emissions, but also help improving the traffic flow. Mobility is a fantastic system, but uh, there are quite some challenges with mobility. I see a clear role for the Netherlands in order to solve these issues with mobility. Uh, we have been doing that already uh, for congestion because we were one of the first congested countries. So there's a traditional strong industry in order to, uh, to fight that. In order to face their mobility challenges, the Netherlands is investing in smart mobility solutions such as connected and cooperative driving, platooning and automated vehicles. I think it is interesting to test in the Netherlands because of three reasons. First of all, we have declared the Netherlands as a testing bed for automated and connected driving. Not only in closed tracks it is possible, but also in real life situations. We have a lot of facilities that really can make testing easy. Secondly, we really believe in a learning by doing approach. And thirdly, into action for the long run. So that is what we did with the declaration of Amsterdam. And a joint declaration is the first step in which the EU member states, the European Commission and the car manufacturers agree joint goals. Well, we would warmly invite uh, international parties that are interesting to test in the Netherlands to come here and experience their techniques in real life traffic. Dutch investment in connected and cooperative driving is powered by the value of car to car and car to infrastructure communication. An important foundation was laid in the Shockwave Traffic Jams project. Shockwave Traffic Jams are caused not by a lack of road capacity, but by stop and go traffic. And we develop an in-car application to avoid these type of jams. And we do that together with different parties to have a quite open ecosystem. And there's also a very big sense of cooperation. We had dikes to protect ourselves for the water. If you are the only village that builds a dike, it doesn't bring any use. You have to cooperate with the other villages, otherwise there's no, no use in that. So there's a really above average sense of cooperation here. The infrastructure and architecture of shockwave traffic jams is already be used in three other projects. We started with launching it for roadwork warning in the ITS Corridor project, a cooperation between three countries, Germany, Austria and the Netherlands. We are also using the infrastructure for a hybrid test environment and we are looking to a national uh, upscaling of new information services that work with the same architecture. We are active over 30 countries and clearly believe and see that in the Netherlands it's the most uh, expanded way to work together in an innovative partnership. The Netherlands also invests in platooning. The Netherlands investment in platooning will add intelligence to the transport and logistics sector. Truck platooning can be easily explained as a number of trucks driving uh, very close together like a train, uh, connected by Wi-Fi and communication uh, systems. The value of platooning is first of all, it's much safer. Also, because the trucks drive together, uh, you save fuel and therefore also uh, emissions. And by using smart mobility, we can better exchange uh, data and communicate. For example, we can show drivers uh, preferred uh, routing, so last mile truck guidance, and we can also communicate about uh, local roadblocks and, uh, and construction work, so we don't uh, drive uh, inefficiently inside city centers. In my opinion, smart mobility will change our, our sector dramatically in the next five years. The Netherlands also invest in automated driving. Their unique testing facilities have gained recognition from Daimler, amongst others, who chose Holland as the best place to launch their future bus. We were very proud that we could welcome the future bus of Daimler in the Amsterdam region. Uh, and what was specifically interesting for us is that we could experience how it is to communicate between the vehicle, the bus and uh, the infrastructure. We're investing in self-driving vehicles because we believe that they can help us solving problems that we have today, but also problems that we have in the future. Take traffic uh, safety. 
Now more than a million lives get lost every year in traffic accidents worldwide. Secondly, we also uh, believe that self-driving vehicles can help improve traffic flow. We also see opportunities to make mobility more sustainable. In general, uh, it can have a huge impact on fuel efficiency. So a lot of fuel can be saved. Um, research shows that, for example, platooning trucks can save up to 10 to 15% of fuel. To truly optimize this kind of innovation, knowledge institutes play an essential role. They are an integral part of the Dutch Smart Mobility Network. Now, you're here at Eindhoven University of Technology and together with all other knowledge institutes, especially here in the region, we see a big role for us in order to solve these problems. We have about between 200 and 250 PhD people only working on mobility issues and solving all the problems. We are also working very closely together with the Innovation Center in Helmond. So uh, yeah, we, we're really very eager to work on a solution there. Well, developments are going very fast and we want to be ready for the future of mobility. So please come and test in the, uh, in the Netherlands and join us in this journey.